Okay, Horse Trailer Post here. So we are discussing the feature of exterior skin, which is basically you know the outer sheets on the outside of your horse area. Uh, there are three types of material that we are aware of at Horse Trailer Post that are used in manufacturing aluminum, painted galvanized, and painted steel. There are different methods of application that do result in uh, difference in durability as well as cost. So we want to make sure that you are aware of the differences so that you can factor that into your offers. So your first selection on your screen, it reads aluminum sheets around the top half of the trailer secured with rivets and extruded aluminum at the bottom. So let me show you what that is quickly. If I can find a trailer, perfect. Uh, so I just went on Google, did a search for horse trailers, uh, just a, a general search there. And this particular trailer, I don't really see which brand it is, not that it matters, but uh, this material, the shiny stuff down around the bottom half of the trailer, that's called extruded siding. Now some manufacturers use really thin pieces of that for cosmetics, some actually use really thick pieces, so uh, it can be deceiving. Nonetheless, the extruded siding generally does provide more strength uh, than the plain white sheet does. Also, the extruded side is a little bit more expensive uh, from a cost standpoint. So if you're looking at a trailer, uh, one has white sheets from top to bottom, the other one has the extruded around the side, you can generally expect the one with the shiny stuff to cost a little bit more. Now, the other area, so it, it reads aluminum sheets around the top half secured with rivets. This definitely has the white aluminum sheets around the top half of the trailer, and I'm not sure if you can see this on your screen, but they those sheets are secured with rivets. Now you say, well, what's the purpose of the rivets? What does it matter? Uh, 3M has some nice technologies. There are tapes, so to speak. It's really not tape. It's a chemical bonding system. There are glues available. Nonetheless, there's all sorts of applications and technologies that exist today to be able to secure these sheets without the use of a mechanical fastener. A lot of the testing uh, leads us to believe that the chemical bonding systems uh, such as the popular one that 3M offers may offer more strength than what the mechanical fastener like the bolt, uh, the screw, or the rivet. Also what we have noticed is that in really uh, in varying temperatures, hot weather, cold weather, uh, you may experience some sheet buckle or sheet warpage on the side of a trailer that has aluminum sheets with rivets. So we do see some advantages uh, in not having those rivets. However, it costs more to manufacture a trailer without the rivets. So when you're looking at a difference in manufacturers and one company has the rivets and the other one does not, and uh, you see a cost difference there, just uh, be aware that the one that has the rivets may be uh, less expensive. Your second option would be aluminum sheets around the top secured without the use of rivets and has uh, extruded aluminum at the bottom. So it's going to be this exact same trailer so to speak. The extrusion at the bottom, the white sheets at the top, difference being no rivets. So uh, just a nice smooth side. If we click there's a photo on a Murhow, I believe this brand is that appears to be the aluminum extrusion, the white sheets, and of course, no rivets on the side. Now, another advantage of uh, the no rivet is uh, most of the bonding systems form a watertight barrier. So by eliminating those rivets, it does help keep the water out long term. Uh, your next selection down would be the aluminum sheets for the entire sidewall secured with rivets. So that's going to be, um, yeah, here's a, a really good one. This is a feather-like trailer. It has white sheets from top to bottom. You can barely make it out, but they're there. There's a nice zipper row of rivets, another row of rivets here. Uh, so that's, uh, that's what that selection means. Uh, this one would be the same thing without the rivets. So we could find, uh, let's just quickly grab one here 
trying to get a really good photo to show. Uh, that's a small picture. Anyway, I'm not finding what I want quickly for you guys. I do apologize. But anyway, uh, a trailer that has uh, this. Yeah, here's one. So this is a Hulk trailer. It has aluminum sheets on the outside, uh, top to bottom, and not any rivets. Looks like they did use maybe one right on the front. But for the largest majority of the trailer, I don't see any rivets at all along those sidewalls. Extruded aluminum sidewalls, complete horse area, top to bottom. Uh, that's generally found on a stock style trailer like this. So there you have it. That would be extruded aluminum, top to bottom. So no white sheets whatsoever on the sidewalls. It's all the extruded material. Okay. Next selection down would be hand-painted galvanized sheets for the entire sidewall that are secured by welding. And the last one, hand-painted regular steel sheets for the entire sidewall that is secured by welding. So you probably will not be able to tell the difference between a galvanized sheet versus a steel sheet by physically looking at the trailer. You almost have to research the specific manufacturer, uh, companies like CM, I believe, uh, in their steel line, they actually use a galvanized material. Um, let's see, Trails West at one time was using a galvanized material, and I almost believe that Titan does. But there are many, many manufacturers that use a galvanized sheeting, and this would be, uh, this is actually a calico, and they use an all steel product, if I'm not mistaken. But the side sheets are all steel, and uh, you'll certainly, if available, uh, B would be another one. So B horse trailers. Yeah, so this is actually a steel frame galvanized sheeted trailer. Uh, it looks really nice. It's hand painted and uh, and generally you'll, you'll notice that the galvanized sheets hold up very well long term. Okay, certainly preferable over a trailer from a durability perspective of one that's just painted steel. So you'd want to look for those galvanized uh, if that were an option for you.